Hey guys, welcome back to another video, finally. I know it's been a while, uh, but uh, we're back uh, with a very short tutorial, which is gonna be my last video of the year, where I'm gonna be showing you how to add glow to your 2D game. So without further ado, let's jump right into this video. So as always, I already have a test scene set up, as you can see here, and it is Christmas at the time of the recording, so Merry Christmas to all of you. I uh, hope you all had a good holiday, and yeah, let's get started. So as usual, I, like I said, I already have my test scene set up just to save some time here, and it's basically just a 2D scene, which I renamed to test scene. Then I have a canvas layer, which I changed the Z index to negative uh, one, uh, or on the layer, I changed that to negative one in the inspector. And then inside there, I have a color rect and a label and a particles. So the simple little particle system on the back, uh, which is part of my background. Then I have two sprites, which make up my tree, which is the tree itself and the star. Now to actually add glow to the scene, we want to select our main scene here and do control A. And we want to add a background or not a background a uh, world uh, we want to add a world environment and then in the inspector and we want to click environment empty and then do new environment click on environment once more open the background drop down and then change the mode here from clear color to canvas and then we can leave it at default then we can go down to the glow drop down open it up enable it and you will notice that there already is a slight glow. Uh, now we want to change the blend mode here from soft light to additive. And now there's a lot of glow as you can see here. So let's see, we can actually adjust it uh, uh, slightly the settings here. So uh, we can just do something like intensity. We can do something like 1.5, which makes it a little bit harsher. And then we can lower down the strength to something like uh, 0.8 maybe. So you can basically mess around with these settings to get it to look how you want. Um, give it some slight blooms, so 0.1, uh, it should be fine. And then you can keep the other things uh, default, uh, but you can turn on the buy cubic ups and the high quality just to make it look a little bit better. And then if you don't, right now, everything's kind of glowing. If you don't want like the tree itself to glow or things to glow a bit more, you can actually select that sprite. So for example, my tree, and then in modulate, you can go over to raw, and then you can actually make sure that this is a little bit slower here. So instead of 0.9, you can have it be like 0 0.8, 0 0.8, 0.8 and then that reduces the glow essentially and then you can do this for the star as well so if you want it to glow a little bit more you can change it uh, a little bit higher here if you want I already kind of set the values you know beforehand that's why it's already changed to 1.5 1.5 but normally it's just gonna be 1 1 1 uh, but the reason this affects the glow is because in our world environment here, the HDR threshold. So basically, if it's below 1.0, uh, then or 1.0, not 1.0, uh, then it basically won't glow. But if it's higher than one, then it will glow. That's why our star is set to 1.5 and our tree is set below the one, so that it doesn't glow. If you don't, if you do want the tree to glow. And you can go over to modulate to raw and then change this to something higher than one. So 1.5, 1.5. And now we have a glowing tree as well as you see here. But I'm gonna undo that because it's a little bit too bright. Uh, and then you could also, you know, give it some other tint as well by changing the values here. So I'll reduce the glow to 1.2, 1.2, something like that. Now our tree is also glowing. So yeah, it's literally that simple. So hopefully you found the video helpful. And if you did, make sure you leave a like and consider subscribing. And I'll see you guys in the next one, which will be hopefully starting new year. So see you then.